Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel devoted to hiking, backpacking, and the Camino de Santiago. If you're into that stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Right now, I want to tell you about something that I'm very excited about. A new piece of gear for my backpacking system, the Mountain Smith Dry Kick. So lately, I have been backpacking with the Mountain Smith Zerk 40. I did a review on this pack earlier, so I won't go into a whole lot right now, but suffice to say that after several trips, I've become very impressed with this little bad boy right here. And one of the best features of the Zerk 40 is that it's got nine pockets, pockets all around this thing, and eight of them are accessible without taking the pack off which is great because that means less stopping, less taking off your pack, easier access to food and the kinds of things you need while you're on the move. Now, because of its design, it leaves the hips free for more carrying capacity, namely the use of a pack. Now, I have been looking for a good pack since I started doing my Camino preparation. But if I was gonna use it on the Camino for this particular system, I wanted something that was waterproof. All those pockets on the Zerk are great, but none of them are gonna protect from inclement weather. Now I've got a waterproof camera, I've got a waterproof case for my phone, so most of the time I'm gonna be in pretty good shape either way, but I just don't really like the idea of pulling soaking wet electronics out of my pack. The other benefit to a pack is that I could put some of my heavier tech items in it, release pressure on the back and shoulders, and put it down on the hips, and since I have the space for it with no big hip belt, why not? So because I was already pretty into the Mountain Smith Zerk 40, I wanted to see if they had something that would go with it. For those of you that don't know, Mountain Smith is about a 40 year old mountaineering company out of Colorado who actually patented one of the very first hiking packs. So I contacted them and they sent me the Dry Kick. This is a pretty cool little bag. It runs 40 bucks and its carrying capacity is about five liters and about seven pounds. It's six and a half by nine by four and because it's a roll top, it can compact and expand depending on your needs. The bag itself weighs eight ounces, as verified by my scale. Now, one of the things I really like about this little pack is that it is waterproof. It is made of 500 denier nylon, but it's TPU coated, RF welded seams, waterproof zippers, and a waterproof roll top. Now, storage wise, you've got a small pocket in the front. It's got a five inch zipper, it's a little more than five inches tall and it's six inches wide. Now this is pretty flat storage. You're not gonna get a whole lot in here. I've got a passport, for example. If this bag is stuffed, this front pocket isn't gonna get a whole lot of use. Opening up the top, you've got two side clips and the bag unrolls like a typical dry bag, except it does have this plastic sheeting across the top. Open this up, what's inside? Nothing but bag, baby. The inside of the dry kick is basically just one big bag. If you use nothing but that transparent top for the roll, you can see the dry kick gets pretty large. One question I had right out of the box was, is this thing really waterproof? As anyone who's done a lot of gear shopping or gear reviews knows, there's almost no such thing as a truly waterproof hiking product. Well, for one thing, the bag is airtight, but you never know until you do the shower test. All right, so here we go. Got the Mountain Smith Dry Kick fresh out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and do the old toilet paper trick. And then I'm gonna try out the uh, pocket as well. Let's see how it does. All right, it is definitely soaked. So, quite wet. What I'm gonna do is just dry off the outside so that no drips accidentally fall in while I'm opening it. The outside of the bag is a little tacky, but it is still 
basically dry. Got a few drips here and there, but not bad. Initial unroll, you can still see lots of moisture in here. And there's a lot of water all over the outside. Now that was three or four rolls in, and it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to dry this outside off. Now, I did not roll this super tight, so and I did turn it sideways and let the water get in, so it doesn't really surprise me that the outside is a little wet. The real test, of course, is what is inside. Dry as a bone. Good job, Mountain Smith. I'm gonna reuse this, it's so dry. Nice and dry, even at the seams. But actually, the inside behind where the belt goes is actually pretty dry too. All right, so let's check out the pocket. Now, this pocket is additional to the inside pouch. It's got a sealed zipper. Ooh, not good. Yeah, <laughs> the water definitely came through into the pocket. Zippers are always the weak point. That's why they make roll top bags. Of course, in normal carry, the water isn't gonna be coming horizontally into the zipper the way I was holding it under the shower. It's gonna sheet off the top. In fact, I'm gonna give that a try. Fine, no water in there. So I would say that in normal use situations, you can pretty much count on this bag being waterproof. So as you saw, whatever goes inside the main storage compartment is gonna stay dry. In moderate vertical rain, I think the front pocket's gonna do just fine. But if you do expose it to some direct pressured water, it is gonna get through that zipper just like water will on any zipper. Of course, with any backpack or pack, you pretty much always want to use a backup system to keep the really important stuff dry. The dry kick is pretty basic. There's no padding on the bag. There's no padding on the strap. You're pretty much going to feel whatever is in the bag if you don't load it carefully. When it's on, it does tend to tip forward a bit. So the dry kick is not going to carry like some really nice, cushy, padded pack, nor is it going to have the organization of most packs. If you think of this as a pack, there's going to be a lot to be desired. This is a minimalist bag. It is extremely simple, and that is what I personally like about it. Basically, I like the Mountain Smith Dry Kick for the same reason that I like their backpacks. Just like your standard lightweight and ultralight packs, fast packs especially, the inside of the Dry Kick is basically just a bag. The idea being that your gear is going to have to be differentiated inside the bag with their own stuff sacks and that kind of thing. So you're not going to be relying on a whole bunch of organizational stuff that you may not need that comes in the pack. This keeps it lighter weight and it also allows you to really customize the way the carry happens. And speaking of customization, one of the things that I found very valuable on the dry kick is that the strap is removable. Because it goes through this slot on the back, you can actually replace this strap if you want something different. Now, although the dry kick strap that comes with it is one and a half inches wide, the slots will actually accept a strap that is up to two inches wide. Of course, if you've got a two inch wide strap, your buckle is going to be even bigger and that may be difficult to get through. So as I've said over and over again, backpacking is a system. All your gear needs to work together. If I'm carrying the Zerk 40, I can use its included hip belt as the strap for the bag, thus alleviating myself of this big old thing and keeping things that much simpler. If you have a hip belt that you don't need, the buckle is supposed to be in the middle, which is going to be right where your pack is, which means you won't be able to reach it to take it out. You can redo the compression system so that the buckle is on the side and the bag is in the center, or the bag can be on the side and the buckle can be in the center. All right, I hope this video has helped you out in your decisions regarding packs. If it has, again, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and until next time, I'm Doug. Take it easy. Fanny, 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 fanny.